Would y'all please do me a favor and stop worrying about me and give God some praise and honor and glory. I can feel you. I can feel you. Would you just give God some glory and praise and go ahead and lift him up? I am fine. I'm good. I'm good. I'm the man for the job. I'm good. Come on. Come on. Give God some praise. I can feel you. Relax. Give God some praise. We're not going to let the devil take over our service. No, 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 no. The video content raises a series of allegations surrounding Bishop T.D. Jakes, his son, and their associations with prominent figures in the entertainment industry, particularly P.I. Diddy. These claims include accusations of inappropriate behavior involvement in scandals, and contradictions between Jake's public religious stance and his personal actions. Allegations against TDD Jake's. TDD. Jake's is rumored to have attended parties hosted by P.T. Diddy, which included activities contrary to his public religious teachings. There are claims that Jake's might step down from his leadership at the Potter's House due to these controversies. A recent lawsuit implicates Diddy in questionable activities, with hints that he used his connection with Jakes to clean up his image. Jakes has been associated with the prosperity gospel movement, which suggests that material wealth is a sign of God's favor. His financial success has drawn scrutiny, particularly regarding the transparency of his income and the lavish lifestyle he leads. In response, Jakes emphasized his commitment to his message and faith, avoiding direct address of the rumors. So I want to get right into it, man. How you feel about these rumors surrounding, you know, Diddy and T.D. Jakes? Man, what I think about it is this, you know. When I grew up in the church, the sinners was not supposed to have the same atmosphere with the saints. You had to be able to separate the two. So I'm looking at him as a saint going to a party that ain't nothing but sin, drinking, maybe fornication, man on man, woman on woman, he on she. But maybe he'd have to lay some hands on somebody. Maybe he'd have to save some souls. Scandals involving Jake's family. Jermaine Donald Jake's, TDD Jake's son, was caught in a sting operation targeting gay activities in a public park and was charged with indecent exposure. Jake's daughter, Sarah, became pregnant at 13, which was a significant challenge for Jake's as a public religious figure. This incident has raised questions about the consistency of Jake's public condemnation of homosexuality and his family's actions. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for being concerned about me. I can feel you. I can feel you. I'm okay. Come on. Come on. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good because I know the truth. When you know the truth, you ain't got to be nervous. You ain't got to be uneasy. You ain't got to be in trouble. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Would you help me welcome our internet audience that's streaming online? Come on, give God a praise for all of them. Thank you for tuning in, logging in, looking in, praying in, watching in, discerning in, whatever brought you in. I was glad that you are here, and we greet you in the name of the Lord. One more time for our streaming audience. Rumors and speculations. There are suggestions of a brewing scandal that could potentially reveal more about Jake's personal identity and sexual orientation. Former mentee Manasseh Jordan has made serious allegations against Jake's, claiming grooming and sexual assault, and has indicated that more victims are preparing to come forward. Photos and videos circulating online suggest a close relationship between Jake's and P. Diddy further fueling the speculation. Jake's has been vocal against same-sex relationships, which contrasts with the scandals involving his son. Allegations have been made that he preaches one thing but lives differently, causing people to question his integrity. This is the fifth chapter of 1 Corinthians, and after that, get the seventh chapter of 1 Corinthians. Listen at this. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and at verse 1. All right. It is reported commonly that there is fornication. It is. 
reported commonly, commonly often that there is fornication among you. What is fornication? Sex out of wedlock. The Bible didn't say it is reported commonly that, that there, there is, is fornication among, among you, married folk. Among you. Because when you look at married folk, the word of God says marriage is honorable in all and the bed is undefiled. Are you listening? Amen. So the married don't commit fornication, the married commits adultery. But single folk, you know what you commit. You commit fornication. Now, there's fornication that fall under abomination. We'll get to that. Follow me and hear me good. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you. There is fornication among you. And such fornication. Such fornication. That means a, cer a certain kind. Such fornication. Such fornication. As is not so much as named. That not even Gentiles folk done. Named among the Gentiles. What? That one should have his father's wife. One will lay with his father's wife. Father's wife. Now hold it. Why does the scripture use the term father's wife? Because that can be the father's wife, but not the son's biological mother. So that type of fornication falls in two categories. The term that's used today, stepmother, and incest biological. But regardless of the category, the Bible says fornication is not so fornication much as is not. It is reported commonly among you that there is fornication, that there is among, fornication you. among you and such fornication, certain kind, such fornication as is not so much as named as among the Gentiles, not main named among the Gentiles. That one should have his father's one wife. will have his father's wife. So, the teaching that whoever you lay with in fornicating, that's your husband and that's your wife, today, not so. Because the book says, obey magistrates, which means you have to be compliant with the laws of the land, as long as those laws does not contradict scripture. Public and media reaction. The public and media have responded with a mix of shock, support for the alleged victims, and skepticism about the allegations. Jake's recent sermon was seen by some as a tactic to boost donations and maintain his image amid the controversies. The public and media have been critical and skeptical of Jake's actions and associations, particularly regarding his financial dealings and the integrity of his teachings. Jake's responses. TDE. Jakes has often chosen not to address rumors directly, instead focusing on his ministry and message. He has also made attempts to clarify his stance on issues when misunderstandings arise. Given the nature of these claims, it is essential to approach the topic with caution, considering the potential for misinformation and the impact on the individuals involved. It's important to wait for verified information before drawing conclusions and to respect the legal principle of innocent until proven guilty.